Do rag wisdom here wearing my cracker cowboy Clint Eastwood hat. Um, you know, kind of sometimes I want to hide my baldness. Um, people ask me uh, why I'm growing uh, growing such long hair and I should cut it. Uh, I'm making a comb over for myself. Uh, here, let me show you. Just a comb over because after my idol, Birther Bastard. You know, here, watch. See this there? Now look at that, isn't that cool? And look, I could spread it out. People think that I'm like, see, isn't that great? See, I have to make it more. It's gotta be longer for me to make it uh, the best that I can. But, uh, you know, anything to uh, go out to, to, to emulate the birther bastard. Today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about, uh, about the uh, Republican Party again and how they're totalitarian scumbags. Um, and why I always say we're at war, cold uh, civil war. Uh, this country is 100 and 240 something years old and the Roman Empire lasted 500 years. I never took my freedoms and liberties in this country for granted and I know, and I'm going to cover this with you in another broadcast, um, I know the history of this country and I know that there's always been a force in this country for good and for evil. There's always been, and of course the evil is represented by the rich, greedy slime balls. Now, not every rich person is a bad person, okay? All right? But I believe personally that most of them are greedy slime balls because of the world we live in. I mean, the media we have, that this piece of shit that doesn't respect freedom of the press, in our country now it's owned by like a handful of people. And you know that our media, our information should be owned by everybody. That's why I like uh, YouTube so much because you have all these many, many different independent news sources you get your news from. Tom Hartman, uh, uh, the Young Turks, uh, uh, Jimmy Dory, who I don't always agree with, um, mm, mm, mm. the Minority Report, uh, uh, Keith Olbermann, ha uh, uh, that's one of my favorite, Keith Olbermann, this, uh, on, on the uh, YouTube. Um, there should be hundreds of newspapers in this country. In fact, young people, this is who I'm speaking to mostly, the beleaguered young people of this country who are, I gotta tell you, I... I I really hate my generation for what it's done to you folks. We were the we were the ones who were marching, you know, and you know, tune in, tune out, drop out, you know, smoke some dope. Look, look, I love smoking dope, but I didn't want it to make me a dope. And I'm afraid that a lot of my generation smoked a lot of dope, but they became dopes. And the reason I say that is we have, as a representative of the baby bungler generation, Becoming the dictator of our country. That's if we don't stop him. Uh, I am for the millennials, the post-millennials. I am for the young people. I'm not going to blame them for staying away from the polls. I'm not going to put them down. I am here, as I've always been, to educate them. I was a school teacher. I educated members of your generation, the, 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 the millennials. Uh, I don't know about Generation X. Maybe, yes because I had taught, started the public school teaching in 1981. So, uh, you know, I got to understand this generation pretty well. And the last thing that we want to do to this generation is bullshit it, which is what the Democratic Party, now controlled by the corporatists, has done. Folks, there's no place for us to turn right now. When I say we're in war, the Democratic Party, which is supposed to represent the people, is now crippled. It's crippled because it's been contaminated by right-wing corporatists. I know this sounds like a uh, uh, like a paranoid tale, you know, a conspiracy theory, but I look at today's Democratic Party, and I'm going to tell you that uh, it's covered. It's covered. It's contaminated with right-wing slime. Remember, the Republican GOP fascists—they're they're, they, everybody in their party is conservative, and the the democratic party wants to be the all encompassing party the party that that umbrellas everyone sorry 
Sorry, but I need a party that represents progressives, liberals. I don't want a party that represents conservatives. If I wanted to represent conservatives, I would be a fucking Republican. You know what I'm saying? So that was the problem with Hillary and uh, Clinton, Bill Clinton. They're conservative. And, of course, the Democratic Party is picking Nancy uh, Pelosi, Bella Lugosi, to become the, uh, the, the head of the Democratic Party again. And under her watch, the Democrats lost everything. So, you know, we have to fight to get the Democratic Party back to what it's supposed to be, liberal, working-class people. And uh, I'd like to have a multi-democracy. A multi but unfortunately, right now, we only have the Democratic Republic, which is under siege by the right-wing fascist Republicans. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this broadcast. I have a lot more to say about this subject, but I'm going to end this broadcast by saying that I appreciate everybody uh, who has watched any of my videos. I want you all to know, always fact-check me. Uh, I will always say if uh, I'm giving you uh, f uh, fake news or I'm giving you conspiracy theories, I'll be very honest about that. You have to understand that my interpretation of the news I watch is my interpretation, so it's my opinion. So again, and if you visit my site and if you don't like what I'm saying about that son of a bitch, birther bastard, then... Um, I understand how your anger, and I will not, if you post to my page, I will not put you down or insult you because I'm not a Trumpist, and so I will not do that. We have a lot of very angry people in this country right now, including myself, and I don't want to, you know, anger can block off your intelligence, your responsibility. Remember what happened to Sonny Corleone when he uh, lost his temper too many times. They knew he was going to lose his temper, and they, they had him, you know... They knew what his 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 uh, his modus operandi was and what he did, and then he was murdered. He got killed because they were able to predict what he was going to do. So they murdered him at that toll booth. So temper can block off your mind. You don't want to have your temper block off your mind. Uh, we have to stand together and dissent. This guy, this this party, this Republican Party, I will tell you another time why I believe it is a threat to our Democratic Republic, why I think they are traitorous scum. And uh, that's another time, but right now, you've got a right to these creeps. You've got to form groups. This is what Michael Moore says, like little action groups, uh, if you're able to. And, you know, we work a lot in our society. They work us to death. If there are people out there that can demonstrate... The day of this prick's inauguration, there should be people out there demonstrating. Every point, every place, every... Because the Democratic Party is going to look for, like, bipartisan shit. And, you know, you got to remember that when uh, Obama was president the first half, two years, and the Republicans were in the minority, they were able to jam him up like you wouldn't believe. And they weren't looking for bipartisan. But, see, the stupid Democrats... I'm looking for Dave Putin. We're going to compromise where we can. I don't want them compromising. I want them to say no to every goddess damn thing that this, this birther bastard says. I want them to undermine him every step of the way. I want, I want that uh, son of a bitch Chuck Schumer corporatist to go out and say, we're going to make him a one-term president. I want revenge! Revenge! You understand? Because... These scumbags, they hated Obama. They hated his guts. Well, guess what, right-wingers? I despise the birther bastard. I will never call him president. I will never watch his State of the Unions or his inauguration or anything about him. I cover my face when I see his pernicious, tumorous, shit-ass face on my television screen. You understand? I shut that scumbag out. I see him in any show. He wants to guest on any show. He's out. I've always despised the birther bastard Trump. And now I despise him even more. And I will work very hard to be in his face in whatever small, insignificant way that I can. Because I'm just one of the assholes on the street. I know this son of a 
bitch hates demonstrating. He hates when people protest. He hates the press. That's why the press and you and me and the media has to get up in this creep's face. Because we don't have a Democratic Party to support us. They are not. They're bipartisan. They got to go in there and be extreme. And then they got to get rid of every single goddess damn conservative in the Democratic Party. Every goddess damn conservative in the Democratic Party should say, they should say, goodbye. Get the F out of here. Join the party of stupid conservatives, the Republicans. Okay? But get the F out of our party. I have a lot more to say about this matter, but you got to know. Your protests are going to be very important, you young people, to save your democratic republic. Get up in this creep's face. Get up in Pence, Pence's face. Get up in the GOP's face. They're traitors. They're scum. They're totalitarians. Get up in their face. Protest, protest, protest. Make this creep crazy because he already is crazy. I just hope we have a planet in two years and it hasn't been destroyed by nuclear war because of this piece of shit. Please wake the F up.